Hey, I'm Jake, and I'm going to be discussing how to use Minute Glass in Killing Floors 2. Even though it's hard to go from this... ...to this... ...the class itself is quite rewarding. Not only are you pretty much carrying the whole team, especially on harder difficulties, but the perks and skills for Medic are awesome. Do note, I'm only a level 10 Medic from when this video was made, but I have been healing people since Killing Floors 1 and that shit's hard as hell. I will go through a few things about the Medic, class skills and benefits, how to use the class effectively, personal tips and experiences from my own gameplay. I don't expect everyone to agree with my method, but to me, these seem the most team friendly and effective. Without further ado, let's get started. Yeah. Class skills and benefits. The skills you want as a medic are listed here, but for people who aren't sure on what these are and what they do, I'll try to explain what they all do as quickly as I can. Syringe recharge rate. Increases how quickly your syringe recharges. The higher it is, the faster it recharges. Syringe potency. Increase the strength of your healing, meaning you'll heal more, the higher it is. Bloat bile resistance. Makes you more resistant to bloat bile. The higher it is, the more immune you are to the fat fucker's puke. Movement speed. Increases movement speed. Yay. Armor bonus. Gives you extra armor which is very handy for survival. Of course, each time you level up, the skills themselves will increase, becoming more effective. The higher level you are, the better you will become. Now onto the perk system. As you can see, I'm only level 10, so I only have two perks available to me. But if I had the option, my recommendation would be this up. This to me sounds the most effective for the team, but that's just my personal preference. How to use the class effectively. Okay, one of the first rules for medics is survival. Put yourself before your team. Now that sounds selfish, but there's a method to this madness. If you focus purely on teammates and not healing yourself, and you die, the team would suffer. So don't sacrifice your life for teammates. Don't take risks because it's extremely necessary. Maintain yourself, then maintain your team. The best way to handle this is healing from a distance and checking your health every so often. Also, pressing the self-healing button, which on the keyboard is the Q key. I also recommend putting healing first and kills second, but only in packed situations. The waves are pretty sluggish or empty, just play it as you will, and keep tabs on people's healths, especially the Berserker class players. Z time, which is a slow down time mechanic in Killing Falls 2, is a medic's godsend. You can heal every one of your teammates in the space of a few seconds. For example, I suggest when Zedtom appears, you quickly spin around and do a quick health check. Just make sure you headshot any enemies in your face first though. Make sure to stick with the group. Never wander with a single person. Always stay with the most people. If two groups split, stay with the group with the most people. If two groups of two people split, then stick with the most reliable players or classes. Using medic grenades effectively. I'll go into detail on how medic grenades work. When you use a medic grenade, it heals within a certain area of where it has exploded. Not only does it heal teammates who stand in it, but also damages Zed as they walk inside the healing agent. Throwing grenades all over the show like a doofus is just a waste. I know people do this because I've seen it with my own eyeballs. Here is an example of me using a medic grenade effectively. See how screwed that guy was? Without my grenades, he would have been turned into gooey mashed potato. Mm. The best time to use medic grenades, in my personal opinion. In a room with multiple teammates who are low on health. If you throw a grenade and you have the brain to know what it is, they should run straight for it. Small hallways full of enemies or a single doorway where enemies have to pass through. It doesn't help against the stalker zeds, but it also filters the enemies down a bit. When a teammate is trapped and needs healing like in the video example before, the only time I really recommend spamming grenades is in dire situations, or if you have the dodge to spare, to buy shit tons of grenades. Using weapons effectively. Okay, what gun do you use? Well, you should only choose medic class weapons. Why just medic, you say? Well, if you just use one medic gun, and then use other class based weapons, you're going to be either useless or switching between guns all the time, and that's just not effective nor fun. When I play, I use the medic pistol till I get enough money for an SMG. Then use the SMG until I have about 1,200 dosh. Then I sell the SMG, buy the assault rifle, then when I get enough money, buy the shotgun, and just keep restocking my ammo, grenades and armour, and then give all my spare money to my teammates. This way you have free weapons of healing benefits, and your teammates can be more effective with stronger weapons as you give them your extra dosh. Yippee! Okay, now down to the healing. 
For me, I have a cheap gaming mouse, which includes extra buttons, and I'll have my healing button keybinded right here. This makes it so much easier to heal people. I also have my melee button as my scroll down on my mouse, so when every time I scroll down on the wheel on my mouse, it will melee any clots nearby. This is great for them clots that grab you and pin you in one place. When you're holding a healing weapon, you might have noticed when you hover over a teammate who can be healed, you'll hear a distinctive sound. It sounds like this. If you also aim down your sights, it will have a highlight shape to show they can be healed. It will look something like this. And that's about it. Uh, as a personal experience from the game, I would have to say, don't syringe spam unless the, like, the teammate is really low on health. Make sure you try and like keep some spare in case another teammate needs to him. Um, if you are another class and you have one that's, like space left in your inventory, I recommend buying the medic pistol as it only weighs one. It gives you ammo and it gives you a healing belly, so it's good all round. If you're not sure you're going to make a shot to heal a teammate, aim down sights, then you're guaranteed to hit them. Don't forget the medic bullets also home in on the target, so it's a lot easier to shoot teammates with a healing bullet than it is in the first killing floor. My god, that was fucking terrible. You have to hit them like dead on. In this one, it's a godsend because they can like fly straight to the target, so it's a lot easier to heal. So yeah, um, hip fire when you pretty much guaranteed to hit them or you like they're not in immediate danger. Other than that, sadly, I have no more wisdom to bestow you. So hopefully everyone got some new information from this video, hopefully some people have learnt some stuff. If you have, please leave a like, and if you enjoy my content, please subscribe, and thank you for watching the video. See ya!